Well, here you can see the uh, the workhead which uh, I'm using. It's basically it's just a hardened steel bush uh, with a hardened and ground spindle, and the cutter um, it enables the cutter to ride smoothly over the uh, the tooth rest. Here you can see where the tooth rest is positioned. Everything is on centre line. Um, the small angles there are, uh, allows the uh, cutter to just to glide over the tip, which has a tidy radius uh, formed on it, and this enables the smooth action of the spindle in the uh, bush. There's um, a front view of the tooth of the slot drill on on centre line. With everything on centre line, the simple calculation can be made as uh, as I did with the uh, end mill. And uh, after calculating the uh, relief angle of 70 degrees by the diameter of the wheel, which is 3 inches, comes out uh, 182 thou. That's the amount that the wheel has to be raised to create the 7 degree clearance. Now normally when I grind uh, slot drills or end mills, I don't bother with the calculations or anything. All I do is line up my um, wheel, the curve of the wheel, with the um, the relief that's already ground on the on the cutter and then just touch on and, and re-grind that way. But if you need to do it the proper way according to the book, well, that's the way to do it. Everything on centre line and raise the wheel and use the calculation. Well, I've never had any problems with the, the cutting of uh, the, the cutters the way I've just described how I grind them normally. Now, as I've said before, the, um, the tooth uh, rest really does need to be hardened out at the tip. It needs to be pot hard. This prevents the uh, the cutters from digging in and dragging. Um, it's it's important is this, and also that the angles can be ground to suit. Uh, you could have a shallower angle or a steeper one, and if you're doing any tiny uh, slot drills, the um, the tooth rest really needs to be ground to suit. Uh, it need to be a lot thinner and finer than the one I'm using now. Here I'm just showing you how I uh, line up everything on centre line. I use an old scriber and use the uh, index lines on my uh, my workhead. There's also an index line on the on the wheel head. Uh, it's just a matter of getting the tooth rest on centre line, the wheel head on centre line, and the uh, the workhead on centre line. It's it's not as critical if you're going to do them the way I I described where. I just uh, eyeball it basically and touch on the uh, uh, the previous regrind. Here's a front view of the cutter um, sliding over the tooth rest. You can see how uh, how it rides over. Actually, this tooth rest is on the uh, on the thick side. It really could do with being a bit thinner. It could also do with uh, narrowing. Uh, the blade is a little bit too wide, and if it's too wide, it'll uh, it'll catch the shank at the end of the uh, end of the flute. I'm just now raising the wheel head by 182 thou, and that should give me uh, seven degree clearance, according to the uh, to the calculations. Now, as I mentioned in my uh, previous video on doing the the end mill, I don't have a graduated collar on this slide. I'm having to use my uh, dial indicator. In fact, I think one of the next projects is to get some uh, collars made and uh, and engraved on my uh, dividing head. I also really need one on the the cross slide on the uh, the cutter grinder table. If you've never ground slot drills before, they can be a bit tricky, and you've got to take take your time and take care. Uh, there are various other uh, attachments for grinding uh, slot drills and uh, I think they use like cams or followers or but um, 
This way is, is, is quite effective. It's just if you, you, you just uh, take your time. It can get uh, tricky when you try and do uh, smaller uh, slot drills, like at three sixteenths or even an eighth. It's uh, it's a bit difficult. I struggle sometimes. To put the uh, cuts of the grinding wheel on, I use the fine feed uh, stops on the machine uh, bed. It's not the most accurate way, but it does work, and I've used this for years. I do intend to fit uh, a micrometer stop on each end, and this uh, this will be a future project. And they, these will give me a uh, more accurate uh, control of the amount of uh, I take off for uh, each uh, cutter. Now you can actually put the cut on the, at the shank end of the, of the slot drill and then drag the spindle towards you and this way it cuts from the, uh, the shank end to the front of the cutter and this uh, some people might find a lot easier than the, the method shown which I always, nearly always use but if they are really tiny cutters I tend to use the uh, the method I've just described uh, from the uh, shank end to the uh, to the front by uh, pulling the spindle towards me. Now raising the uh, wheel head up to uh, three uh, thirteen, that should give me uh, approximately twelve degree secondary clearance. Again, using the constant calculation, seven degree, uh, 12 degrees clearance um, uh, multiplied by the diameter of the wheel is 36 and then multiply 36 by the constant point 0087 um, gives you 313 and that's approximately uh, 12 degree uh, clearance on uh, secondary Probably 10 degrees is, uh, is enough really. Now to be honest I don't normally do this calculation method. I just take a light cut and uh, put the clock on it and make sure that there's enough fall off of, uh, of the uh, from the cutting edge. And this, uh, this usually suffices. If it needs a secondary on I'll, I'll grind a secondary. If not I don't bother. I'll just... Uh, I just leave the uh, uh, the primary uh, clearance. Now here now I'm just checking the uh, clearance on the primary and the uh, secondary, and there's enough fall off uh, clearance there to indicate that uh, the cutter should should be all right. As long as it's clear, uh, it's usually okay. Here's a general view with the the primary and the and the secondary. Well, I'm now going to uh, sharpen the end teeth as uh, as I did in the previous video with the end mill. A lot a lot easier to sharpen the slot drills. There's, there's with only two teeth. It's uh, quite a quick uh, job. I'm going to use one of my um, flexible uh, tooth rests. This is made from an old uh, saw blade and these are ideal for this kind of uh, setup. You just to make sure that the edge of the cutter rests um, on the edge of the blade without any springing forward or backwards. It's got to be a firm uh, seating. I'm just going to make sure that the the, uh, the work head is uh, square to the uh, wheel head. I shall now move it down to a uh, 7 degree angle and then uh, move the work head over slightly so that the wheel cuts very very slightly towards the centre of the cutter. Now grinding the, uh, the 7 degree primary. I'm just using my Norbide uh, stick to just uh, slightly hollow out the the cup wheel, it's got slightly thickened it 
to at the front to cut in place. This is a Norvard stick I mentioned in my previous video and whether you can still get them I don't know. You've just got to be uh, really careful with your Norvard stick because if you drop them onto a concrete or stone floor they just tend to break in half. They are really good and uh, they're probably one of the best dressing stones you can get for dressing up uh, all kinds of wheels. I'm just now taking a, a cut across uh, the first tooth. Uh, you've got to be careful that you don't run into the uh, tooth on the opposite side, otherwise you'll uh, it will damage it. And I'm just grinding ever so slightly towards the centre. You might be able to tell by the sound of the of the cutting action. I generally do this with my uh, slot drills and uh, I find it gives that little bit more chip clearance and it doesn't affect uh, the slot drill if you're sinking down into, uh, into material. And now I'm just tilting the uh, work head down for the uh, secondary. I'm giving it about uh, 12 degrees again. I usually try and match uh, what's already been previously ground but sometimes uh, they don't always uh, clean up like this on this occasion but uh, it's, it's good enough for this I must apologise for the poor lighting uh, throughout these uh, videos I really do need to get uh, organised with some decent lighting and really a decent camera um, the camera I'm using I've had quite a few years now and I think it's uh, it's time I uh, replaced it. Well, that's the cutter finished. Um, and there's uh, one of the problems I mentioned about my camera. It just won't focus right. Just about see now what uh, what I've ground on the uh, on the end. Here's another view of my uh, Norvide uh, dressing stick. As I mentioned, I don't know whether you can still get these. I believe they're made of uh, boron carbide. Very, very uh, wear resisting. But, uh, perfect for, uh, for dressing grinding wheels, especially cup wheels like these. I'm just now showing uh, how I grind small uh, slot drills. This one is just uh, just slightly smaller than three sixteenths. I was hoping to uh, to regrind an eighth uh, cutter, but I'm afraid I ain't got one of those at the moment. The best way, as I mentioned before, is to grind from the rear by pulling the spindle towards you, where it will easily ride over the uh, the tooth rest. This is the best way for small uh, slot drills. I'm again using the uh, stop um, so I don't go too far in and just uh, put the right amount of cut on. Now I've just taken a little bit too much off uh, off this primary. So what I need to do is just to lower the wheel head slightly. So the amount I've taken off would now act as the secondary. So I shall just give it a light skim on the uh, on the cutting edge, and that should uh, be okay as the primary clearance. Incidentally, when you uh, raise or lower the wheel head, you uh, you must uh, adjust the position of the tooth rest accordingly. Otherwise, the wheel can uh, dig into the tooth rest. I'm not going to show the uh, grinding of the front teeth on this smaller end mill as, as it's just a it, it's exactly the same as doing the larger one and it's no point in uh, in repeating the same procedure.
Well, that's the, the small cutter at uh, reground. A little bit more tricky than the larger sizes. Right, this is the uh, slot drill I've just ground up, and I'm going to put this in my uh, miller just to uh, see that it does uh, cut okay. To sh just to show you that the way I grind my cutters, um, the uh, the cut uh, without any problem. I'm not really sure whether uh, there's any advantage in. Uh, grinding slot drills or end mills quarter inch diameter or below but you can buy very cheap imports these days and when you've just uh, used these you can just throw them away uh, the only reason I regrind mine is that uh, all my cutters are Clarkson's and I rate Clarkson's as probably some of the best slot drills and end mills that there is and I like to keep uh, keep using them I mean, that's my uh, my own personal opinion. Hope you found this uh, of interest and thanks for watching.